If, if someone said, how do you stay alive? The, drink water, breathe, and eat food. I mean, yeah. And you won't go, breathing stupid, I'm going to stop doing it because you have that's, to do it every that's day. That's all anybody ever tells me to do. Yeah, like, oh, you, <laughs> you think just exercising and drinking water will make me healthy? Yes! Welcome to our response to your comments, episode eight. Eight. Crap! I was gonna. I knew it. I knew it. And then, and then I was like gonna say nine for ago. some reason. It's not nine. It's not nine. But I guess there has to be a nine now, so I can be. <laughs> so I can be a prophet. <laughs> 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 Um, well, I mean, you could say Jesus Christ wanted his whole church to be a church of prophets. So, a whole nother episode. Yeah. Dude, it's a, get it's, ready for that one. That's going to be really good. Stuff. Some research. Okay. <laughs> you guys, so you, you leave these comments on all of these videos, and it's just so heartwarming because so many of them are w wonderful and kind and give us motivation. Like, honestly, one nice comment a video is like, let's go make 20 more. Yeah. Like, this is worth it. Um, and you could, uh, you know, there's more to be said about the other ones that <laughs> and I think condemn that's, us to and hell. And I think that's what's the most fun. So like you, we'll go some nice ones, but mostly I think we're going to see some funny ones, hopefully. I like this one. Actually, this is just, hi, you might want to talk about excommunication at church. What are the reasons and the process? Something like that. So that's just note hmm. to future us to make an episode about excommunication. Yeah. Um, Cause I think it's or something like that. I think it might have like gone through some changes recently. I honestly don't know. I I know Isn't a lot of people who were excommunicated and came back to the church because they embezzled money. They stole tithing. Oh, straight up, it's crazy. Interesting. Mr. Flintstone, what are you doing? I'm an executive. I'm embezzling. I'm shocked. How could you ever marry that man? And you were like, you meet them, and you're like, you're the best guy ever. And then two weeks later, they're they're gone. They're not a bishop anymore. That's the thing. Hmm. If you're in a position of authority and you abuse it, the church does not. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. pretty much a one-way ticket. We're trying to crack down on that, especially yeah. with, like, sexual, sexual harassment. harassment and stuff. Where, like, mm -hmm. they're just like, that cannot happen and ever, but I know it has happened, but anymore, yeah. you know what I mean. But we ex they, we expect a lot from our priesthood leaders. So that, if anything ever comes so out. So excommunication, it's almost always a leader or somebody who yeah. wanted to be excommunicated. Like. Yeah, I think in most, like, not, not, not to say, like, normal people cases, but, like, anyone who's not in a leadership position, don't quote me on this, but I almost feel like most of those cases are, like, they... You know, right. they, they did the, something wrong and the they didn't want to of make any differences. What is the main industry in Savannah? Murder. Like, you know. They wanna, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but they didn't want to make it right. Usually it's like, right. it's like you've done something awful and you don't care about um, making amends. I don't care in the least what people think or feel. In my experience, they don't do either for very long. Like, that's usually when it, it's like, like... You don't want to be okay, in the church anyway, so it's, it's less excommunication, and more just like, you don't even want to be here, so we're yeah. not going to make you stay. Yeah, not every case, but... Anyways. Which proves we're not a cult. A cult would make you stay, regardless. So, yeah, just... well, I don't know if that's such a fact, but it feels like it's right. Um, <laughs> Seems, sounds legit. I love, I love this one. This is from Brody Mitchell from Five Things Mormons Believe That Other Christians Do Not. Jesus was not a Caucasian, and <laughs> Mormons also believe colored skin is unholy, and if colored people make it their levels of heaven, they will be made white and clean, which makes perfect sense. Uh, so I think it's, first of all, if you're going to leave a comment, you have to have good grammar. I hasn't been happy for a real long time now. You won't mean that. I'm afraid I am mean it. Otherwise, Otherwise we will just call you I'm out. I'm just going to laugh. I Sorry. feel so bad because I know I'm not the best grammar, but like, you can't help but read and Mormons and just be like, it's, it's too <laughs> tempting. We're sorry. We don't think you're dumb. I Have promise. you ever, like, geez, on my mission, uh, we were proselyted by this church that believed that Jesus was just a black man and that he only saved black people. <laughs> like, that was the entire basis for their religion. And they gave us this flyer, and it was just like, like all these scriptures that proved Jesus was black, and it was the funniest, most interesting Did it piece you? of literature. Are you are you no. damned? 
No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just checking. I'm just making very... sure you, you like infiltrated us. You've been you've been part of this other religion the whole time. Yep. <laughs> this whole time, I'm just trying to bring it down from the inside. All this talk of double cross is making me hungry <laughs> for a slice of blueberry pie. Special Agent Blueberries Johnson reporting for duty. Like, oh, black. Sorry, but yeah, the well, it's not true. There's there's some there's some lot there's lots of lies and like rumors that have grown from comments that leaders have made, and it's not not true. We don't believe that. You can believe that we believe that, but that you're wrong. Yeah. As for the Jesus was not a Caucasian, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think. I think like artists' right. interpretations of how Jesus looks is their interpretation but we don't think it actually matters what color his skin was. Yeah. Point is, he saved all of us, right. regardless of we'll skin. We'll find out in heaven for sure. Yeah. So I'm sorry True. if the art offends you when he is white. I, it's, I don't know. I. It's just their interpretation. Just, sorry. There's I, probably I, 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 lots I, of interpretations out there. They're really pretty pictures. Find the ones you like. <laughs> when will the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints reopen? It's open now. It's open. You can go. Depending on your area. If you're a single okay. adult, we're open every week. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's there. Like they want, yeah. they You're want. In the bishop right yeah, now. it's crazy. That's crazy. Dude, I get to call people. I, I get to give callings. Yes. Yeah, I get to call people this week. And like, Justin is in a bishopric. Can you believe that? Wouldn't he be the coolest bishopric counselor? Dude, we went around and all the all of the people were like, "Aren't you a little young to be a second counselor?" And I was like, "Yes, yes, yes I, I am. am." Hey, aren't you a little old for a lemonade stand? Aren't you a little old to be alive? I'll show you old. Oh. Dang it, Juan! No, and then I had to explain to them that it's like normal for BYU wards, and then they're like, oh, they're significantly less impressed. Oh. <laughs> it's so funny, I was like, no, it's normal to... But it's still cool. But it's still fun. Um, this... <laughs> this is from response to Quaku's dating episode, and Ezekiel Lister... I don't even want to read it, because I Quaku's my friend. This is just mean. This is just cruel. Is what just... is your problem, Ezekiel Lister? The longest neck I've ever read, seen. Don't read it. Don't read it. That's me. I like don't want to actually read it. I just. <laughs> you want to just just read it. Just do it. When she asks you to bring the paper towels from the car, you pass out because it weighs too much. She gonna leave you. I like. That's Sorry, just mean. This is funny. That's personal attacks. Like, it's one thing to tell us we're going to hell, but to make personal attacks... Yeah, that's wrong. ...on our I just, hosts. I just, even if this was about me, like, the, the, this, this is just such a clever insult. Like, you can't even hold paper towels. How are you gonna get a girl? I, I love that. I have no idea how you would get a girl if you couldn't hold paper towels. What about this one, Justin? What I have a question. How okay. do I stay away from sin? This comes from James Faulkner from the Brigham Young and Blood Atonement. How do I stay away from sin? Well, the trick is go on to Google Maps, search sin. And go everywhere where it's not. As long as it's not there, you're fine. I think we just saved the human race. That makes sense. Heavenly Father's up there and he's just like, <laughs> Somebody like, figured finally. it out. This is the reason Google Earth was made. Um, the, the, the trick is to pray and read your scriptures every day as like pray. monotonous and maybe is like, oh, that's not a big deal. That, that seems like such a it old just, school it's primary just, it's answer. It's literally like if you like if, if someone said, how do you stay alive? The, drink water, breathe and eat food. I mean, yeah. And you won't go, breathing stupid. I'm going to stop doing it because I have that's, to do it every That's all day. anybody ever tells me to do. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> you think just exercising and drinking water will make me healthy? Yes. Actually, it it's does. kind of a fact, you know, and it's the same spiritually. Just reading the scriptures, like praying, having the spirit with you. You'll be prompted. You'll be more motivated when you, when like to, to beat the natural man and stay yeah, away from and sin. Yeah, it just enhances your connection with God. Yeah. So if you think you can be... If you think you can avoid Sid without the scriptures, try going a whole day without breathing. But and Justin, see how that works. Justin, the, all, all these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Oh, and give all your money. Oh yeah. To sell everything you have. Sell everything you have and give it. That's how, that's how you really. Sorry, stay was that how I was supposed to respond to that? I think that, so. That's Maybe. where I went. But I, <laughs> I feel like you're that's going what, somewhere. That's a how little Jesus more responded. Like, yeah, exactly. But I don't know. I mean, going to the temple, you can't really go to the temple right now because they're all 
right. mostly closed. And then predicting the sacrament. Um, doing family history. Richard G. Scott gave a talk where like he basically said uh, that family history is how you stay away from sin. What oh, crap? Well, That's how you a kill lot of things. This is getting a little more complicated. But there's just a lot of good things. Do good things. We've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. It's uh, really fill your easy. life with positivity. And it's really easy. Easy. Yeah. There's a lot of things you can do to avoid sin, to be honest. Um, don't watch TikTok unless it's cats. You look so cute though, baby. <laughs> what? Oh. Because cats, I, the cats I, are very like wholesome. Right. I, th I thought cats the musical. No, no, that, that was that's where my wholesome. brain went. Well, <laughs> it's whatever. Okay, it's, it's fine. I was like, there are TikToks about cats. Yeah. So I'm there's this one. This is a good one. Um, Marcus Chiu, C H I U, and this is Mormon marriage episode, and he says, so it's not till death do us part, and that's like. Correct. It's not no, till death to us part. Not. It's never to us part. And my wife, like every day, it's like she's like, "Will you love me forever?" And I'm like, "I will love you forever." <laughs> and we're all like mushy, but like, but, you guys we're, are adorable. but we're like, <laughs> we're gonna be together literally for all eternity. And and she's like, she's like, "Oh man, if we have kids, does that mean it's not just gonna like? Are they gonna be with us forever too?" She's all bummed because she wants it just to be us. And I was like, "No, no, they'll find their wives and they'll be together forever." And she's like, "Oh." Thank <laughs> <laughs> she wants kids, but and we, it was and we like, can visit them if we want. Yeah, to, exactly. Forever. But it's awesome. So like, it's just if you, it's a great thing to believe. Yeah, really. I, like, like <laughs> if if nothing else, it's just it's just nice, and it gives you hope. Yeah. You know? So like, for that alone, I think it's a great thing, and it really makes you rethink marriage and who you marry, mm -hmm. and like you really take uh -huh. this seriously, and like, how you I'm treat your spouse. Yes, yeah. and how you. Just behave in marriage yeah, generally. Like, this is forever. I should probably be a good person. Hmm. That makes sense. You know? I like that. Why yeah. are episodes not longer? I demand an answer from the most important baptism tips. It's because I have to go to work. Yeah, it's all Justin's fault, really. <laughs> I, we probably we could, could film longer, honestly, if weren't for... Maybe. You, you have work too, though, right? I mean, I, I can, work You work here. here. I do not think that, that is funny. funny. Jinx, buy me a Coke. <laughs> so, ah, gosh, I, dang it, really guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel so terrible now. It's all Justin's fault. <laughs> Carlos is out there. He's just like, Justin. <laughs> um, no, it's just, it's, this is like the algorithm. This is like the, the ideal episode length. So yeah. we'll just make more, and you can act like they're right. all one. Yeah, that's how we, that's how we justify it. Because with shorter episodes, we can make more in the right. hour that exactly. we have. So this comment is from William Bot. Oh, now I feel like I'm being trolled. Bot, it's a robot. He's a bot. Um, Joseph, and it's from Joseph Smith's wrong interpretations of the book of Abraham facsimiles. Um, that's a long title. And he said, you just, you just gotta deal with me because like this is a long comment, but it's perfect. The way you have to twist yourself into a pretzel to believe Joseph Smith was a prophet and got any of this right must have you seen a chiropractor five days a week. You look pretty young. Wow, that actually really yeah. <laughs> You got your whole life ahead of you. So before you waste it on an obvious sham of religion, maybe it's time to grow up and face reality. Mormonism is the biggest con job ever perpetrated on the American people. Bliss. As a bonus, you get a 10% raise and every Sunday off. Hmm. What, do you, what wow. do you have to say to that? <laughs> um, I, I just was going through it, I was like, 10% raise? What could I, no, just <laughs> I was like, he's right, no. You know, um, actually. I, I thought it was really funny that the chiropractor five days a week is clever because five bucks, any member of the church probably needs to see a chiropractor for like. You know what, I recently had to stop sleeping with a pillow because like every morning I would wake up and just like right here in between my shoulder blades was just it like was killing. just like type. same no yeah, i'm the same why. it's just stress it's just tension and sitting in chairs weird but I don't think it's cuz i twist myself into pretzels well it's 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 not because we believe in joseph smith that's definitely that it's because we believe in jesus christ and we want everyone else to be happy and we try our best to serve and be good people and that's hard and stressful and not easy and as far as it being a con job i want you to just give me the definition of a con job 
Why am I playing? I'm just gonna give you my ATM sure. card so you know I'm sure. legit. Of course, of course. I'm gonna give you my ATM card so we both have something of value from the other person. All right. And then it's on who the- ben Who benefits from us believing in the church? Who benefits from us believing that Joseph Smith was a prophet? I do. So you're the con artist who <laughs> said this all along. You're I mean, just sitting there just like, this is on my turn. All of justice, time, and money. <laughs> I just, just think about that. The next time you want to tear a member of the church apart, just think like, most people just believe it because that's what gives them hope. Like that's what gives them peace. That's what brings them joy. And it's, it really is not hurting them. I mean, I guess like some people, if they, it, it all really depends on how you interpret things and how you apply the gospel, well, well, how you live it. Right. But like when you're, I, I feel like if you're just doing your best and you understand the gospel, you understand Christ, you have a relationship with God, there's really not tons right. that can go wrong. Yeah. So you'll, but, you'll, you'll see. When we're, when we're in know. heaven and Joseph Smith's there... You'll see. <laughs> you'll, you'll all he's, see. He's really convincing guy. I'm sh like very charismatic. Very charismatic. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the big thing I've come. It's taken us eight episodes for me to realize this. But if you're gonna leave a comment, just spell it right. Otherwise, you're gonna get <laughs> laughed at because we're human and weak. And for whatever reason, reading typos is it's just it's fun. just funny. I'm, so uh, I'm that's, sorry. Please keep leaving comments though. Yeah. Um, and, and if you don't know how to spell something, don't let that stop you. We'll just try to be more mature. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll ever stop making fun of people who spell things wrong, actually. I think I'm just, yeah, I that's always going to be a thing, and I'm, um, I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> Lurk, subscribe, and shray. <laughs> that was share for those who didn't see the subtitle. <laughs> spell correctly yeah you know? anyways feel free to leave comments we might feature you in an episode don't spell anything wrong and uh have a great day okay.